Hello everyone, welcome to the Reddit versus UFC scrim. As you saw, it's it's not even close. You know, it's 116 versus 112. I think only two, yeah, only two of the Town Hall 10s were left up. And yeah, flu a few 11s, just, uh, just three actually, or sorry, four. And they're 12s, actually two of our 12s. Drin and Drin and Randy Chaps got six stars. That is just ridiculous. But yeah, let's go into these attacks. So this is an attack by Luigi. And this was a fresh hit as well. And it's a good lesson on why you should not put your town hall outside when you're a town hall twelve because it does a lot of DPS and it forces the warden ability over the town hall. So here he's doing his queen hall, uh, <clears throat> starting off his uh, queen charge. Uses the warden with the queen. I guess he's going, she's going to be in some high DPS situations or I think that, no, this was actually a fresh hit. So he wasn't sure exactly what she was going to face and and I guess he just figured that it was better. So here, yeah, he gets maybe a tiny bit lucky uh, because yeah, he's gonna take out that cannon and then, or or maybe he, I guess he knew and I don't know. I feel like it could have gone both ways or maybe he, maybe he's just like, he's just a professional and he, and he just knew what she would do. So everything's going in, he's got ice golems inside the CC. So he doesn't have to use too many freezes right away. He's got his warden as well. Yeah, so he uses the rage just to sort of speed up the queen more than to keep the queen alive. Now, unfortunately, there's a... Uh, the healers switched for a second there, but it looks like they switched back. Yeah, so his king starts to take out that town hall, and, you know, without skellies, without anything protecting it, he is going to be able to take that down by himself. And now come the hogs. He's got... Five wizards for cleanup and one uh, one miner. So the pathing path that's left up from this queen charge is just, I mean, it's it's so great. Pretty much one heal covers it, and he's got his warden ability as well. So he's got a lot of skellies, some small bombs hitting on him, but he still has one heal left plus the ability. Enemy King is causing some problems, but he's got the Warden ability to go through that giant bomb as well. And there's just a tiny bit left up here, which he uses the heal for. And yeah, it gets a giant bomb there as well. He has a Loon. I don't know if it's... Yeah, it doesn't end up doing very much, but... But still... Yeah, great attack. Yeah, so his miner goes in, takes out these. Well, the queen gets it, but still, it's good to have that miner for cleanup. So, yeah. Fantastic attack. All right. Next attack is. I don't remember which base it was on, but I know. I know who did it. Yeah, it was. By Richie. So this is a uh, uh, Q. <laughs> it's the it's the EQ Queen charge. So he sends in his the E drag. It's going to get a lot of value. His king on the other side to funnel. So it takes out that first Tesla, and then takes out the second one. Uh, plus the Archer Tower. So a lot of times people put. Teslas, Tesla farms on the back end, on the on the side that they don't think a kill squad will come. And that's just a great area for a queen charge because you get all of that for free pretty much. Yeah, he's gonna get the last one here. Now what was really interesting and really impressive about this attack is that he he doesn't get as much value as you might like. With this attack, he does. He only gets well. He gets a lot of expos. He gets three of the expos. 
and he gets the eagle and he gets the air sweeper but there's three air defenses left up plus two of the inferno towers but despite all of that yeah you can see it's the format's a bit different here he's got a he's got a heal and a, and a haste so that's what makes a difference here but yeah this attack is so he starts sending in his his uh, lavas, tank some of the inferno streams, get some of those seeking air mines, sends in his SS, already starts clean up right away. That's really fast and really important. Send, yeah, so those inferno towers taking out so many loons, but it's fine. He still has his warden, unfortunately it's, <laughs> it's stuck on those minions. <laughs> Maybe that's uh maybe that's why people say to just use it early, but I, I mean the valley wasn't really there before as well. So yeah, despite having uh yeah there there he goes the uh oh oh he just missed uh he missed about half of them right there. But uh, yeah, despite not using not being able to use his warden ability to its maximum potential, you know he still gets the three star and and. Pretty convincingly too. I mean, he's got a lot of loons up, and he's got a ton of pups and miners. So yeah, really great attack. Okay, so our last attack is by our very own Ranch. If I can find him, yeah, there we go. So I'm not showing this attack because Ranch is in Hunters. Normally, I don't like showing Hunters attacks when we when we're doing these external events. But this attack was so good. I'm showing this purely on its own merit. So he starts off with that nice bowler bounce. That's a fault in in base building, but he takes advantage of it really well. Yeah, he even has that uh dark elixir drill, which actually has more hit points than than regular uh, mines or elixir pumps. So he's got 10 wall breakers, sends in his, sends in the test one first, and then breaks into the second wall. Perfect timing. And yeah, watch where he dropped that poison. He doesn't try to poison the ice golem because it doesn't do any damage anyway, but he poisons the loon in such a way that they're all going to die before they reach her. And so, yeah, right there he sends in a second group, but that ice golem freezes. And uh, they all get stuck there, but still manages to break through. It's really clutch play. And now he starts with his hogs. He's, he's sending in the... Yeah, he sends in the SS. So, yeah, he did everything here. He did the queen charge, SS on the back end. Yeah, his... Hogs just have that beautiful pathing. They just go straight to that the IT because it's a single. He doesn't have to freeze it. I sorry, he doesn't have to heal them. Everything's moving through. Uh, SS is still up, and it's got it's gonna have max hogs inside. King is going is gonna go down to the queen, so that the hogs don't have to do them. So there's a Tesla farm here, but he's got two heals still left up, and and the queen is helping them. So this attack was, uh, I mean, it was beautiful. This is a beautiful attack. <laughs> Everything just went perfectly. I mean, this was perfectly executed. Uh, it has all my favorite elements as well. So yeah, really good stuff. Yeah, even the healer is still alive. It was just, this was crushed. You know, the only nitpick I have is <laughs> minions kind of suck at cleanup. But uh but it's it's totally fine. Yeah, he even had a swag swag poison. Amazing. So yeah, that's it for this uh, recap. Hope we'll do another one really soon. And thanks for watching, guys.